Chief Executive Carrie Lam called on protesters to heed the police, but the US saying it's her responsibility to restore calm. The United States is gravely concerned by the deepening political unrest and violence in Hong Kong, including the standoff between protesters and police at Hong Kong Polytechnic University and other campuses. We repeatedly call for restraint from all parties in Hong Kong. Violence by any side is unacceptable. The Hong Kong government bears primary responsibility for bringing calm to Hong Kong. Unrest and violence cannot be resolved by law enforcement efforts alone. All right, senior international editor Jody Schneider is in Hong Kong and joins us now. So, uh, Jody, that uh, siege at the Hong Kong Polytech University ongoing, what's the latest on the ground there? Yeah, Paul. Um, so it looks, it appears that there are still several hundred, we don't know the exact number, but reports are several hundred uh, protesters, students are still trapped there, are still there. And the question is, how do they leave? When do they leave? Uh, yesterday, as you noted uh, in that lead in, we saw. Um, tear gas, we saw raging uh, fires, we saw vehicles on fire. It really looked like a war zone. Some students managed to escape. Um, they did allow, the authorities did allow some first aid workers on to treat some students and said um, they could, and they took them to hospitals and that they could, uh, they would be arrested later. But there's uh, real concern about how this ends, how uh, they will get those students off that uh, campus, off that site. We, cert we heard from the government, Carrie Lamb, saying that people had been warned uh, and that uh, that they need to leave. Uh, we saw some protesters, um, thousands of protesters come out last night in, uh, in uh, favor, in support of those students. So the real question is, you know, how and when does this end? Uh, it has transfixed the city and, and obviously the world is watching what happens here. Yeah, well, a lot of our attention, of course, is on those dramatic scenes at that campus. But what other signs of disarray are there around the city? It's not just confined to the Hong Kong Polytech, is it? It's not, um, although that is where um, you know we're, we're all kind of watching at this point. We did see some uh, smaller demonstrations uh, yesterday uh, around town, and including in the financial district at noon, there was a uh, lunchtime protest like we saw last week. But again, it's the larger uh, situation, and, you know, five months of protests uh, and what that is doing. We've seen uh, schools are shut for a sixth day. We've seen continued cancellations uh, of things, including a major uh, music festival that was to happen. And now there's talk that the district elections that are supposed to happen this Sunday on uh, November 24th could be uh, could be canceled, postponed as well uh, because of this. The government is saying that they hope to go ahead with them, but that they're going to have to watch the situation. And uh, some fear that if those are canceled, that that could make things even more chaotic in Hong Kong. Jody, we just heard Mike Pompeo saying the United States just wants to everybody, you know, just to be careful, against, they're, we're against it in the U.S., but not really coming out that strong. Uh, what are other world leaders saying, and is it something that's going to help a situation or inflame it? Well, that's a really good question, Kathleen, whether this uh, tends to help or not. Um, you know, Mike Pompeo's uh, statement that he's gravely concerned. We heard from uh, Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell, a Republican, saying he wants to hear from uh, President Trump in support of the protesters. So we haven't really heard much from President Trump on this. But there is concern that uh, you know, China, uh, had, from the beginning, uh, has blamed foreign governments uh, for being behind the protests, uh, particularly the US and the UK. And uh, it's unclear whether the, the US or the UK and someone like President Trump coming in support is going to help much at this situation. Um, it's really now a, a situation between protesters and the authorities and the police. We did hear from uh, the Chinese uh, central government uh, in recent days. We heard from uh, China's President Xi Jinping basically saying that the violence needs to stop and that, that Hong Kong will not allow the violence to continue.